Hi. How's everything going on? Nice to meet you after some time. Today, in this lesson, we are going to discuss about the use of two words, do and does. And it will take only few minutes of your time to understand how to use these two words, do and does, correctly. Keep in mind, when you are using does, you have to consider only third person singular like he, she, it or any other name. So, to make a sentence with does, the subject of the sentence should always be third person singular like does he go to school? Does she sing every day? Does Tom go to school every day? So here the subject is always third person singular. We have to keep in mind here one thing. Like consider a statement. She goes to school. Here we are adding to the verb S or ES because the subject of the sentence is third person singular. Like she goes to school. We are adding here to the verb go ES because the subject of the sentence is she which is third person singular but if we are trying to make this sentence interrogative we will add only once not twice to the verb like does here the word does is because of the addition to the word do es that's why we will not write again sings or goes like does she go to school we will not say does she goes to school i hope this is clear never make the verb twice singular in the same sentence now let's take the use of do do is used with all persons except third person singular like do i go to school do you go to school do they go to school so here we find all the subjects of the sentence are first person, second person and third person plural. Remember in case of second person that is you whether it is singular or plural irrespective of that you will always use a plural verb. So does is never used with second person. Now how to make a sentence negative? We do and does. We can make a sentence negative by adding not to the word do and does. Like I go to school. We can make this sentence negative by adding just do not. Like I don't go to school. I like fish. I don't like fish. So here we are making the sentence negative by adding not to the word do because the subject of the sentence is not third person singular. Now if we take a subject of the sentence third person singular we have to use does and then not like she likes swimming. So here we are going to make this sentence negative by using does and not. Like, she does not like swimming. He likes to go to school. He does not like to go to school. So remember, in case of negative sentence, in and the, when the subject of the sentence is third person singular, we are using does with not. So I hope it is clear that when you are using do, the subject of the sentence is first person, second person and third person plural and when you are using does you have to keep in mind the subject of the sentence is always third person singular and when you are also keep in mind that when you are considering the word do and does it is only about the present tense, simple present tense. So, never use do and does with any continuous tense or perfect tense or any other tense. It is used only in case of simple present tense. Now, sometimes we use do to lay emphasis on a sentence. Like, I do like to study at night. I am laying emphasis on the time here. I do like to study at night. I do like to get up early in the morning. 
so when you are laying emphasis you can use the word do or does according to the subject of the sentence we can also use the word do with wh words like how do you do how do you say this and with third person like how does she dare to come here how does she come late how does he say all those things so we can also use the word do and does with wh words i hope you have been able to clear your confusion regarding the use of do and does i will be back soon with some other simple lessons to make you understand english in a simple way if you have enjoyed watching my videos please put your likes and share it among your friends take your time out to visit my site skillenglish.com to know more about english to more about how to improve in english and to improve your communication skill which is the most important thing so keep fine enjoy your day go on working hard for your english soon you will see your english is improving and you are speaking in a very fluent way so until then keep fine have a happy time ahead goodbye